think I put all my Ecuador stuff into these two that I connected. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, I don't think this video really captures the size of this backpack. And then I have these things to put in Seattle. These things to add to this somehow. I don't know, it's gonna be a stretch. Catch an Uber in Seattle, drop off these two, and go back to the airport. I feel physically pretty good. It's hard to go uphill, but I'm just going slow. Although I think I'm making pretty good time. I made it on one of the first gondolas. There aren't very many people ahead of me right now. I hope that when I get to the top, it won't be super cloudy and I'll be able to see into Quito. Although we get a pretty amazing view even from the base of the mountain. I got here at 10.30 p.m. last night, but I don't think I got to sleep until one. And then I woke up at 7.30, here I am. I did it! I did it in two hours and 15 minutes. I almost fell coming over the bridge because I was dizzy. But I'm fine. I just need to sit and drink some water and hope the clouds leave. I passed a bunch of people, they're really far down. And there's one guy up here, the only guy that passed me. I haven't showered in like four or five days. I don't even know what day it is. I showered on Monday, today's Thursday. So I'm gonna go, okay. I think this is, this is enough. I just wanted to tell a story of something that happened on the way up. I had some money in my front pocket including some coins and I moved it to my back pocket because I wanted to keep my GoPro in my front pocket. And I was walking for like 30 minutes and I felt something brush my leg and I was like what the heck? I looked around couldn't find it. I was like am I hallucinating already? This is bad. Like I've only been walking for like 20 minutes. It turns out I had a small hole in the back of my pants where I put the money and the coins fell through the hole down my pants and were like collecting at my boots so they were jingling and I could feel them brushing against my legs yeah so not hallucinating everything's fine I feel pretty normal I was a little dizzy there at the end of like just coming up over the ridge but Everything is going to plan, I guess. I'm on my way down. I have the gondola to myself. I climbed it in more or less three and a half hours, which is pretty strong. I ran most of the way down on the path. It's so much easier going down than it is to go up.
So I don't know what this noise is, but it's been happening for at least the last 45 minutes. I'm on the top floor of my hostel. It freaks me out how hard it is to climb up three flights of stairs considering what I have to do today. Now we are. You see that it's clear. We are seeing Sumaco volcano, Antisana, Hayambe volcano. Chicha, the hot is over there. Arriba, Sumaco volcano, Antisana,
the post Cotopaxi chaos. Everything is just a mess, including myself. But I survived and now I get to sleep. <sighs> and I have to deal with all of this in the morning. Stay.
desert now. Wow. Yeah, no more plants, no more animals, nothing. So we just pass the bus and down to the trail. That is a fumarola. Fumarola. Is it that deep? I don't remember. I think so. In this place that is foggy, that part was a small lake. La cumbre de Guagua Pinchincha.